Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to our story time. Um, so my name is Nayantara and I'm a speech therapist. And uh, today we're going to be uh, looking through a storybook together and uh, talking on Ava's app. So uh, welcome to all of you. We'll just wait for a couple of more minutes for everyone to join in and get settled. So um, this is the second Ava story time that we are doing. Um, the first one was also um, another storybook called uh, Farida, um, Farida Plants a Feast. Um, so if you are interested, you can always uh, check out that video on our YouTube page. Um, so this time we have a different book and we're going to be doing uh, some, some of the same things, but also some new things. I think we've got some messages from everyone tuning in. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly check the time. Okay, so we have past four, so we'll get started. Um, so everyone keep your Avas device ready. Um, so today we're going to uh, read a storybook together. And uh, just to give you some background about what we're going to do, we're going to look at a storybook called Bunky and Bubbly. So this is a storybook that's available by this publication house called Pratham Books, but it's also available in a digitized version on their e-platform called Story Weaver. Um, so if you're interested, you can actually have the book with you as we're doing this session. Um, so now uh, I thought before we get started with uh, looking at the story, we'll just chat a little bit about some of the strategies that I'll be using. Um, so one of the main things is aided language stimulation. So what that really means is, is to speak with AVAs. So when you're talking to your child who is an AVAs user, it's important that you also use AVAs while you're speaking with them. So you don't have to put on AVAs every word that you're saying, but you can model some words. And uh, like I was just saying, one of the strategies that we use in aided language is modeling. So what does modeling really mean? Um, so modeling is just showing your AVAS user what you want them to do. So it's very, un it's very unfair of us to ask a question or make a comment and expect the AVAS user to know what to say. So if we say, what do you want to do now? And then we wait and there's no response from the AVAS user, we can then do modeling. So we can show them what to say. Oh, I think want. you want to read a storybook. So now that we've shown them what they want to say, we can then give them the AVAS and then we can request them to give their response as well. So it's important to always do modeling as you're teaching new concepts and new words on AVAS. So that's a little bit about modeling. Um, the next thing is, I guess, you all must be wondering, why did we choose storybooks, right? So storybooks are a great resource. So it not only helps us to read and find out the story, but it also helps us as adults to teach a variety of concepts. Um, so it can be, you know, you're teaching a new word. It can be you are teaching feelings, you can teach describing words, you can ask questions, you can encourage them to ask questions. Uh, you can talk about the different uh, letters and sounds that you see, you can talk about the pictures. So there's a whole range of ideas that you can bring about through a storybook. So that's why we choose storybooks. And it's a great, great resource even for you if you wanna get started with using AVAS. And finally, the last thing that I want to say before we start our story is the main focus of your story time should be engagement. So you have to do everything that you can to make sure that your child is happy, interested in enjoying this activity. So for example, if your child likes art and craft, so you can make something together to go along with this story. Um, for example, I've made like a little paper boat to go with my story. 
and suppose your child likes dressing up right so you can put on the clothes of whatever uh, character you see in the story and then you can reenact the story once you've finished talking about it so think about what your child really enjoys and try to make sure you adapt the story in a way that your child will really enjoy it and so that the story time is not boring and it's very interesting and you can do lots of uh, talking on avas with it um so those were just some points that i thought i would share with you before we get started and now i think we're ready to jump right in okay so first of all we have to start with our greetings so let's go real quick quick greetings and manners and we'll say hi 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 to everyone out there how are you how are you today so you can pick up your avas and tell someone near you how are you doing okay home so we are going to let's go to actions i'm looking for the word go back read we are going to read and then go back go back home to play indoor storybook we are going to read a storybook together today okay home so this is the storybook that i have for you it's called bunty and bubbly so bunty and bubbly this book was written by mr sorith gupto and can you all see these lovely pictures these were also drawn by the same person okay so that was the author of the book so who has written the book is called an author and the person who draws all of these pictures is called an illustrator so that's a little something about this book um next i think this might be bunty i wonder who who is bubbly do you think it might be this soap do you think it might be these birds do you think uh, it might be this ball hmm so we'll have to read the story book to find out before we get started there's something interesting about these words bunty and bubbly let's get our keyboard keyboard they both start with the letter b b see there's a b here bunty there's another b here bubbly okay so now this is the front page of the book and now we're going to open the book so once we open undo oh, oops delete word sorry about that um once we open this is not the story yet so now we have to pictures let's home go. done we have to turn the page to find out okay let's do that all of you ready here we go so bunty loves to play with butterflies so we need an action word love love so bunty loves to play with butterflies okay and you see that she can you see her playing with butterflies okay what's happening next and birds so bunty loves to play with butterflies and love she loves to play with birds look at her playing with the birds okay so these are things that bunty love loves to do i wonder if there's more home let's turn let's turn the page so bunty loves to play with birds butterflies and what else bunty oops let's go to our action love she loves to play with birds let's have a look and 
there's a bird. So Bunty loves playing with birds, just like this one, right? Okay. There's something interesting about all of these words. Okay. Let's listen to them again. Let's go to our keyboard. keyboard. So there was boats, there was birds and butterflies. All these words start with the letter B. B. So there's B. B in boats. There's B. B in birds and B. B in butterflies. So they all start with the same letter. Okay, so we found out what all Bunty loves. Pictures. Is there any more? Home. Let's turn. turn the page and find out. Okay. She also likes to play with sand castles. Have a look. I wonder. Um, where? Where do you see sand castles? Do you know? I think we might have to go Home. to our go to folder and find a place. Maybe we find sand castles in beach, in the beach, or maybe even park in the park. So we can find sand castles here. So Bunty also loves to play with sand castles. So these are all the things that Home. Um, love that Bunty loves. What about you? What do you love? Love. What do you love to do? So pick up your avas and tell someone near you. What do you love to do? What do you love to play with? Okay, so we'll keep going. Now we have to... Home. Sing. Oops. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I meant to say... Turn. Turn the page. Okay, let's go. What happens next? Let's see. So now she goes back home and she's talking to someone. Hmm. We might need our people folder for this one. Let's go into family. Mother. She's talking to her mother. And what does her mom say? Hmm. Home. Let's find a describing word. Dirty. Her mom says, Oh, Bunty, you look so dirty. Dirty. Have a look. Can you see? So her mom says, you need to get clean. Clean. You need to clean up. Okay. And what does Bunty do? Let's find out. Home. Can you see? I need, I need my comments folder for this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bunty is kicking the soap away. What is she doing? She's kicking. Home. We need an action word for this one. So let's go to actions. Do we have the word kick? I wonder. So let's just type it out. So when you can't find a word. Keyboard. You can go ahead and type it. Kick. Kick. So Bundy is kicking the soap. Oh, dear. And have a look at her face. Pictures. Okay. Home. Now we're going look. to look at her face. Oh, dear. I think we need a feeling word to talk about this one. Let's go to feeling. How is Bundy feeling? I think she's feeling angry. Angry. So angry. Can you see her angry face? I think Home. she's saying, I don't like. I don't like soaps. Right? So she looks so angry. I don't like soaps. Hmm. What? What's going to happen next? Done. We have to turn the page. 
Okay. Now we can see we can see Bunty sleeping. And when she's sleeping, she has a dream. Now, have you heard of this word before? Dream. It's a new word. So let's Involved. talk about it. D R E A M. Dream. Dream. So this is a new word. So dream is something that you get Which is when you sleep. When you fall asleep at night. So what you do is you get to see, see. different stories. And then you wake up in the morning and the, all the stories are finished. Okay, so that's a dream. So in Bunty's dream, what happened? Okay, let's find out. Home. We have to turn. We have to turn the page for that. Okay. Can you see what's happening in her dream? Oh dear, what's happening? Bunty is Run. running. And can you see there are some home? Um, dirty. There are some dirty germs, and they're also running behind her. So Bunty is running, and the dirty germs are running behind her. Okay. And have a look at her face again. So let's look at her face. How is she feeling? Home. Let's get our feeling words. How is she feeling? She looks really scared. Scared. She looks so scared, right? And when she's scared, she's saying home. Help. Help. She's screaming. Okay, so if we let's well, let's find our action word for the word scream. Okay, so that's something like shouting. So we have to go to our talk action word and say, Scream. Scream. So she's screaming, Ah, help me. So when we're feeling scared, sometimes we can, Home, help. We can ask for help. So Bunty is also asking for help. Oh, goodness. So what's going to happen next? What? What's going to happen next? Is somebody coming to help her? Can you see? Oh, it's bubbly. And bubbly is a soap. Okay. So let's go to, where can we find soap? So we'll have to go into soap. We'll have to go into the home folder and into self-care and we find Oops. Soap. Soap. So Bunty is a soap, and you can see he's brought lots of bubbles. Bubbles with him. So Bunty is a soap. He's brought all of these bubbles. And what do the bubbles do? Oh dear, can you have a look? The bubbles are also running. Home. So the bubbles are. Run. Running and making the dirty germs Home. go go away. Right? So the bubbles are saying go. Go away, dirty germs. Aha. Okay. So now we're going to turn the page. Done. And find out. So this is the end of Bunty's dream. So her dream is finished. Finished. Okay. And what's going to happen next? Oh, look, there's Bunty. And what is she doing? She is, let's go to home. She is Brush teeth. brushing her teeth. And she says, home. I like. like brushing my teeth and I like being Clean. Clean. 
So she loves being clean. And now she likes to brush her teeth. She likes to take a bath and she likes to be clean and not dirty anymore. So that's the end of this story. So the story is now home finished. Finished. I wanted to tell you about some of the words in the story. So do you remember the word dream? Hmm. And there was also another word, scream, when Bunty was screaming for help. So dream, scream. What do you think about these sounds? What? What do you think? I think they sound... Same. Same. Okay. Have a listen. Dream, scream. They both sound... Same. They both sound the same. Ah, okay. So that's something that we learned about those words. And now that we're finished with this book, we have to close it. Okay? Now, I'm going to share what I thought about this book. So I'm going to go to quick, quick responses and comments. Hmm. I think the book was cool. Cool. What did you think? So you can take your comments folder and tell someone near you. What did you think about this book? Maybe it was, you can say, great. Great. Maybe if you didn't like it, you can always say, yucky. Yucky. Okay. And home. What about you? Do you like, like taking a bath? Do you like, like brushing your teeth? You can say, I don't like. I don't like all of this. That's fine. So now, now we're going to, um, now we're going to talk a little bit more about modeling. So I just wanted to give you an example of um, if you took up one page in any book or even if you took up a particular picture, right? So even if you don't act, have access to storybooks and um, if you can't get them online, you can always just take up a picture and you can do modeling. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you an example how um, with just one page, you can model a range of different concepts. So let me first just delete. Clear. Yeah. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this page from the storybook. So I'll just let you have a look first. So first, one thing that we can talk about is what's happening in the picture, right? So you can always start with modeling what's happening. Ah, okay. So Bunty is kicking the soap. So we'll go to our actions. Oh, I forgot. We don't have the word kick. So let's type it Keyboard. out. K I C. Okay, and we have our prediction, so we can always use that. Kick. Kick. So Bunty is kicking the soap. Okay. So next one we can talk about is you can just talk about the um, objects that you see in the storybook, right? So for example, you can see a soap. You can see a girl. So you can always point that out too. So let's model that too. Pictures. So, Home. Let's go into, so like we said before, I think you can find soap under self-care. Soap. So I see a soap in the picture. What do you see? So you can even make um, a sentence out of it. So for example, if you want to say um, that she's looking at a soap or that you see a soap, um, Keyboard. You can make the Pictures. sentence with your Home. advanced folder. So you can say I. I. Okay, let's first delete it. So we have the entire message. Clear. I. I. And then we want to talk about seeing. So we will go into actions. See. See. And then finally, Home. let's go back and find our soap. So we can always, so suppose um, you can't find a word, you can always search for it. 
So feel free to always model that searching in front of your AWAS users so that they know that it's okay to search for something and it's okay that you don't know where every word is. So I'll just use the search option this time. Soap. Soap. Okay. I see soap. I see soap. So that's, a, that's an example of how you can model a sentence too. Um, the next thing is you can talk about a more, um, more intricate detail of what you see. So you can zoom in and you can see, oh, there's something on her face and there's something on her dress. So then you can talk maybe about some description. So then you go into the describe. So how does she look? You can say, oh, she looks dirty. She looks dirty. Can you see her face? It's so dirty. It's so dirty. So that's one example of how you can do some, do some description. Um, and then the next thing that you can do um, is you can even then look into the faces. Because talking about feelings or talking about their emotions is also another great thing that you can model. So you can say, oh, have a look at her face. Have a look at the soap's face too. How do they feel? So then we can Home. go into the feelings folder and also model those feelings. So then we go to feel. Oh, Bunty looks really angry. Angry. Or you can even teach, if you want to teach a new word, you can even teach frustrated. Frustrated. She's so frustrated. What about the soap? Oh, dear. The soap looks scared. Scared. So that's an example of how you can model um, some feelings. And then after that, you can even ask some questions and you can even make them answer some questions. So if we're going to ask a question, right? So we can we can see that the, that bunty is dirty. So you can always say home. Why? Why do you think bunty is dirty? So then you can give them an opportunity to try and answer that question. And if you wanted them to ask a question, you can pick some concept that they may not really know. So for example, on this page, there is the text says, I hate soaps. So you can have a discussion about that. So you can say, hate. Hmm. Have you heard that word before? And then you can go quickly. Quick. You can say, do you know what hate is? You can say yes or no. And then depending on whether they know the word hate, you can also then teach it to them. So you can say, okay, you ask me, you ask me, what is hate? So then you can oh. model that for them. So just so that, again, it brings back that same strategy of unless you teach them how to do it, they will not know. So then you can say, you ask me, Nayantara, what? what is hate? And then you can proceed to tell them a little more, a little more about what hate is, and you can describe that word for them. And then a few more things about what you can do. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly look at my list. The next thing is some literacy uh, concepts. So it, even if your child is not yet reading the print, reading the words in the storybook, you can still start to point out some early literacy concepts to your child. So for example, you can talk about how many letters that you can see. So I can see four S letters in the page. Keyboard. So in the word soaps, I see, oops. S. S at the beginning of the word soaps. And I see S. S at the end of the word. So there's so many. or that sound the same. So you can slowly start to introduce those concepts of uh, reading and writing skills as well. Um, so that's an example of um, the range of things that you can model in just one page. Um, the reason for me to do this was so that you can have an idea that, um, you know, whatever you start modeling is completely fine. But just um, 
engaging the child in that story and using the time to you know have a fun discussion model some words and in the end have the child enjoy that time of hours with you so that's the whole goal of this activity um that's the end of what i have to say um, I would love it if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. You can always post, the, post them in the Q&A section or in the chat, and I will have a look at them and answer them for you. So um, let's go back to our greeting. Quick. Thank you. Thank you all for listening in. And I will, I can't find my see you later. Oh. See you later. I will see you later. Um, I'll just quickly have a look at the questions now. Um, please feel free to go ahead and uh, post on the Q and A. I think we have a question from David. I'd like to ask you a question on your storybook. Please go ahead. I still, um, we still have some time. Okay. So I'll just um, wait to see if there are any more questions. As we wait, I just thought I'll quickly share with you. Um, so you don't have to always have a storybook. So um, if you can't really access a physical storybook and buy it, you, you, you have different digital platforms from where you can access storybooks. So one of them is called Storyweaver. So that's www.storyweaver.org. So in there, you can find lots of um, storybooks which are catered to um, the Indian population. So they're really short stories. And uh, the great thing about it is you can select um, different levels depending on how far your AWAS user is able to read or comprehend the text. So this is a level one book where there is very little text and there's more pictures. So you can choose the level depending on what you want. Um, so a second resource that's available um, for us to look at um, e-books e is called um, Tahil Reader. So Tahil Reader is another e-platform where you know they, they have a nice filter and search option where you can just type in a topic of your choice and you should be able to find uh, really easy and really simple books that uh, professionals, parents, and even um, AAC users themselves have put together for all of us to enjoy. So that's another great resource for you to check out. Um, and Tahil Reader has another option called the Tahil Shared Reader, where it even has a lot of the core words that we have in Avas already stored there so we can use it for uh, story time, just like how we did. Um, so those are some resources uh, which I think you can access if you can't go out and buy a storybook right away. Uh, in the meantime, you can access these e-resources to do your story time. Okay. So just quickly check the questions. Um, so this the question that I have um, from Nilusha. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, my son is 2.5 years, but he is not having listening skills. So um, like I said earlier, like suppose your child's um, interest is, you know, art and craft, you can engage him in that. Suppose they like more sensory things. Um, so you can make, uh, uh, like one of the things was making a sandcastle. So you, what you have to do is you will have to look at the book in advance and prepare some activities to go along with it. So maybe, you, you know, you know, there's a sandcastle. So maybe you can go to a park and tell the story while you're doing it. So then you can build the sandcastle together and talk about, um, you know, what Bunty loves and maybe your child loves that too. So um, another thing that I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if you were listening in, um, it's like you can reenact the stories. So you can put on the same dresses, maybe get, you know, get some dirt when you are playing outside and then have a conversation about that. So think about, um, how you can use your child interests and change the book, but also 
if your child doesn't have um, you know that good listening you can also make the stories into bits so uh, maybe you can do a couple of pages a day and then slowly build up to doing the entire story together and if your child you know uh, is not yet reading so you don't need to focus on the text at all you can just look at the pictures and just have a comment about like what's going on in the picture so that's also completely fine so uh, like i said earlier the the storybook is a versatile resource so you can use it in any way you want but just make sure you're able to model at least a couple of words um, and they you're able to get that listening through in that activity um all right so this question was um how can we use avas for non verbal and less attention span kids so um i think the less attention span i just um you know addressed in my previous question uh but non verbal um i think one of the ways that we recommend that you start with is just finding your child's interest so for example your child loves to watch youtube videos like pick an activity in your child's routine that your child absolutely loves to do and see how you can incorporate avas into that so uh for example yeah i'll just show you a quick example home so if your child loves watching youtube videos right so you can always even add in like a folder for youtube so i have a videos folder because i have a particular client that loves videos and then we put in the different videos like they, that they like to watch so then they can ask for that videos or if you're watching that video you can say oh baby bus baby bus it's the baby bus video and then you can even start to talk about words like volume up hey can you raise the volume i can't hear it or you can even say stop stop i want to watch a different video so think about different ways how to incorporate avas into your child's favorite activity so it can even be suppose your Go child back. likes listening to songs you can even put in those songs into here or if your child oh. likes some particular outdoor game so you can find a way to um put in some words in avas or even use the vocabulary that we already have to start modeling and start having a conversation um because it's an activity that they really like they will be more motivated to try out something new i hope that answers your question um okay any other questions i'm just going to quickly look at the chat screen okay so i guess uh, we still have a little more time feel free to uh, pop in and ask any questions or you know you can always contact us later for any other information that you want um we'll just wait for a couple of more minutes um as we look out for some questions so when you're thinking about you know oh what do i what do i model like suppose you're stuck you're looking at a page and you don't know what can you come up with so a great thing that i do is i just um one of the tips that i do is just um i just look through the folders that we have already on avas and think about how i can use any of these words that we have in the folder to talk about something relating to that picture so for example if we were looking at that same picture you can talk about oh where do you find the soap so you can say go to you can go to home in the rooms you can say oh you find soap in bathroom bathroom um home and you can even play guessing games in story books right because you don't always know what's going to happen next so you can always um go to the questions folder and you can say what oh what's going to happen next and maybe you can guess some scenarios of how that story would end um so that's an example you know that's some examples of if you're stuck for what to model these are just some ways to get you started okay any more questions everyone um okay so it says i saw that you were modeling more of only action words and not others 
is there any specific reason oh i'm sorry if it seemed like i was only modeling action words i was trying to do a range so i think oh. um, some of the words that i modeled were uh, question words people actions um but no there is it doesn't need to stick to a particular type of word um it would be great if you can model a whole range like some comments some greetings so have a variety so that you're able to you know introduce your child to all those different concepts um but if specifically like your speech therapist and you have decided that you know your goal for that week is greetings or your that goal for that week is actions then that way it's okay to just focus on that so um if you have a specific goal then it's fine but yeah if you if if there is no um underlying goal it's it's great if you can model a whole range of things um Okay so we have another question saying um can you share more strategies which are effective uh, like modeling okay so along with modeling like one of the first uh, strategies that we train families for like once they start using avas is uh, prompting so what prompting really is is like you've asked a question and your avas user is struggling to give you a response and your support to them for them to give that response is prompting so your support can be in a different you know it can be in many different ways so um sometimes you know we support them by you know pointing to the answer so we can say so let's uh quick home so we'll just show you yeah. i'll just show you quickly some different types of uh modeling um so sorry prompting forgive me sorry i meant prompting so um suppose you want them to say the word want right and um they're not able to get to the answer right away so you can point to the answer you can say oh you want and then that's a prompt so that's a that's a support that you're giving them for them to get to that that get to that answer and uh, one type of prompting itself is modeling so um just showing them how to say that answer is also another type of prompting and another way that you can prompt is um we don't we recommend this as a last resort but you can always just use your hand and support them from the bottom in order to get them to the response that you want um and another way is like you can show them a visual so you can show them some um picture of the word that you want them to get to and then you can get them to say the word that you want and um finally um yeah i think that's that's about um you can always even use your words sorry so there's also verbal prompting where you use your words so you can say oh i think you want to play so then you're giving them that support to get to the word so um prompting is another great strategy that we use when we are teaching um so modeling and prompting these are two main strategies that we start off with like if you're um new to avas you're just getting started to teach different concepts then these are two great ways to get started okay um any more questions everyone um just quickly i thought i'll share another strategy that i used for the story time so i guess it's hard even for me it's really hard to remember all of the different words to think about for modeling in every page so one thing that i do um let me show you um one thing that i do is i put little sticky notes so you can see it so just put little sticky notes um uh, at the bottom of the page and you can write down the words that you wanted to talk about um so for example i've written here i've written the word love um and i've carried it on like wherever i needed uh, wherever there were lots of words to remember and wherever i needed that little help to get me through um so you can always add uh, you know add these words uh, before you start reading with your avas user and it's an easy way so that you don't forget whatever you need to model um okay
Oh, okay. Yes, thanks for the suggestion. So um, another strategy that you can use when you're starting to teach um, AVAs or you're just doing lots of modeling with your AVAs is um, communication temptations. So um, what that really means is, um, you know, we're setting up the situation in a way that we're inviting the child to come and talk to us or inviting the child um, to come and, you know, use AVAs with us. So, for example, uh, like one of the things that you could do um, is like sabotage. So um, suppose your child's favorite toy is kept in a place where he can't really reach it. Um, so then that situation would uh, require your child to come and ask you for it or come to ask for your help. So that's a great way in which we've sort of um, made the situation in a way where we would get the child to come and ask us for something or come and communicate with us in some way. So at that time, what we can do, we can make use of that opportunity and uh, we can do some modeling with ours. So, oh, I think you, help. I think you need some help. Um, or you can model a you can model a request. So you can say, oh, I think you want to play with your toy. You can say, I, I want, I want my toy. So um, that's one example, like how of, of how um, you can. Uh, use like a tempting situation to do some modeling. Another way could be like, um, suppose your child needs your help uh, with opening something, like something's really difficult for them. Like it's a, you know, it's a bottle of bubbles and they need you to open it for them or they need you to blow it for them. And that's when they can continue to play their favorite activity. So that's another great game. So you can blow the bubbles, put the uh, one back in, screw the bottle really tight and then wait. So your, your child will really want to play with your bubbles. So your child will come to you, uh, try to communicate with you, you know, may, may actually touch you, may point to the bubbles, may communicate in any way. So it may be a verbal communication or even a nonverbal communication. Um, so once they've communicated that to you, then you can again take hours and model. Oh, want. you want bubbles? Or you can even model the same word. So you can model the word bubbles as well. Or you can even model like pop or Keyboard. burst the bubbles. Oh, you want to um, pop pop the bubbles. Um, pop, pop, pop. So that's a great opportunity again to um, use avas and model different words for your child. Um, so that was, that was communication temptation. So that's also a great strategy that you can use um, for modeling. Okay, let's have a look, look at the questions again. Um, I think any resource for communication temptation activities? Yes. Um, so we have some resources on our website um, that we can, I, I think if we can find a way to share it with you or, or else you can even go to our website and type out communication temptations. You should get like a blog article with ideas on that. Um, so that's that's definitely there. If you can't access it, please do let us know and we can find a way to um, share that with you. Um, and there's also, uh, just to remind everyone, there is a survey at the end of this. So please, uh, please do take your time and answer that for us because it's really helpful for us to know your feedback and so we can adapt things according to that for next time. All right. Any other questions, anyone? Okay. Um, we'll just wait for a couple more minutes. Um, so next month we have um, AAC Awareness Month. Um, so it's a great opportunity. There'll be lots of um, events happening and you can always uh, tune into those as well. So this um, story time activity was part of that. So um, just to get everyone 
um, aware and um, knowing about you know what AAC is and how it's helpful and how it has um, you know a lot of benefits for our users. Any other questions, everyone? Um, another tip, um, I guess, for the story time activity is if you want to keep um, your child involved, you can always engage them with the uh, questions. So um, one thing that you can do is if you're talking about things that you like or things that you like playing or things that you you know you don't like it's always good for you to talk about your own interests or your own likes first and then you can put it to them so i think it's a less uh, stressful situation when somebody goes first they've shown us how to do it and then we could go ahead and have a try uh, to talk about it ourselves so you know suppose you you love playing indoors so you can always model that so you can say quick home clear yeah. you know I, I let's go to actions love i love home and then we can go to play i love playing throw throw and catch i love playing throw and catch what about you what do you love playing so then you've modeled an example of how they can answer that question and then you're giving them an opportunity. So that's a great way to start off that interaction. Um, Home. First you talk with Avas, then you get your Avas user to start talking. Um, any more questions? So we've posted some uh, links in the chat box for all of you for um, communicative temptations. So it's a great concept. There's lots of different ideas. And I'm sure um, once you start to do them, so the only thing is to get started. So once you start, you'll figure out ways for yourself, like what works for your family, um, what works for your child. So um, the main thing is to get started. Okay. Um, I guess one last thing as we, I think we're ending the, we're nearing the end of the webinar is, um, you know, you can always do a story time as a family activity as well. So, uh, you know, when you're thinking of doing some modeling on Avas, it doesn't always have to be restricted to, you know, the one person. So you can get, you know, the mom, the father, the siblings, grandparents, whoever you have at your house, get all of them together and all of you read the storybook together. Um, so that's a great way because, uh, you know, in my experience, I found that when you include the client's family, they get so motivated and they get so encouraged to try out that activity. So, uh, for example, like one example uh, that I was doing at the end of the storybook was to ask, you know, what do you think? So we were giving comments. So quick, you know, you can go to the responses and comments folder and all of you can take a turn to tell a comment about how the story was. So uh, first it can be the mom's turn, the dad's turn, everyone can have a turn and finally it comes to the Avas user themselves and then they can have a turn to say, you know, how, what did they think about the story and they can go, good, it was good. Um, so it's great to get uh, the family involved in all of the modeling activities that you're doing. Uh, because uh, AAC is not just restricted to one person. Everyone in the house should be using AAC to talk to the user. Um, so it's a great thing to get started. So it's a fun activity that you can get started. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick look at the questions. Okay. Um, I guess that brings us um, to the end, unless any of you have any last minute questions based on what we were talking about.
All right. So, um, quick, clear. Whoops. I want Go to back. my greetings folder. Thank you. So thank you everyone for joining in and uh, for listening to the story and for listening to all of the tips. I hope you found it helpful. Um, again, please, please do take the survey and let us know your feedback. Um, so we can have more story time sessions together and we can, you know, have more story books to read as well. Um, so thank you and bye. Bye. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks everyone.